Hello everyone. In today's session, we will see details about the address doctor. Address doctor is one of the tool, or we call as a library, which can be which can be used with the Informatica MDM to cleanse the data. So we will see what is the address doctor. Uh, what are the features of the address doctor? What are the different status scores and its description? And how can we configure address doctor? for the Informatica MDM. So what is Address Doctor? Address Doctor is a address validation solution that enables you to verify and validate international postal addresses. So most of the time what happens uh, if you are in a particular country, we use the population for that country. Like consider the scenario where our application is old, only targeting to the US country. In such case, we can use the US population and uh, uh, and its corresponding addresses in the US will can be validated using address doctor. So now consider if you have the multiple countries across the globe or we have suppose European country, US countries, Asian countries and if you want to validate those addresses because each country has their different format and the convention about the address. So it can differ. So if you see the, uh, the address in the Brazil or the address in the New York, it's completely different structure. So in order to validate such addresses, there are pre-written or pre, uh, pre-assumed the rules are mentioned in the address doctor, and in the address by using introduction address doctor, we can validate those addresses and we can enrich such addresses so that end user can get exact address or the exact address can be maintained in the system. Informatica address doctor uh, address validation and uh, its a verification workflow include various phases such as the first phase is transliteration, second is parsing the address, then the formatting the address, validation and the last phase is enrichment of the addresses. So these are the different phases involved whenever the address doctor is used with the Informatica to validate or to enrich the address. So it's not only validating the address, it actually it, uh, it parses, it tra transform into different format and it also enriches the address. So normally people say the address doctor is for the validation. Validation is one of the part of the address doctor. Along with that, it also performs various functions. So basically Informatic Address Doctor is compliant with the various uh, organizations such as Address Matching Approval System that is AMAS, uh, Coding Accuracy Support System that is CASS, -A then Sendrite Certification Pro for New uh, New Zealand Post, Service National uh, that is uh, the, the address that is SNA certification for La Post of the France, then the software evolution and recognition program SERP certification for the Canada Post. So it, it, it is already compliant with such a big uh, uh, organization so that we can use this other doctor in the multiple countries. So in this diagram, we have mentioned what are the phases of the address doctor processing. The first process is a transliteration. It actually transliterates the given input address. So input address have the fields like the address line one, address line two, city, state, country, and the zip code. So based on the input and the based on the uh, address doctor used for that corresponding country, it transliterated that given address. After the, that, the second phase is passed, so it passes the address according to the convention. If it is a plot number, then how to treat that plot number. If it is PO box number, how to use that or how to populate that PO box number. Someone can mention the PO box, PO hash and the number or someone like post office number like that. So, or someone completely ignore the PO or the plot, such things, and they directly mention only the numbers. So in order to understand such addresses or in order to format such things, so we need to parse that address, and that is one of the phase in the address doctor processing. The next phase is analyze, verify, and the correct. So 
address doctor uses its internal rules to uh, analyze the address which is already passed in the parse phase then it will verify based on the um, country it corrects appropriately uh, as per the guidelines and then it will format as for the uh, format in that corresponding country after doing all those say, uh, things it the last phase it will enrich the address so that the more appropriate more correct address will be available for the use what are the modes in the address doctor processing there are four types of mode using which the address doctor processes the addresses first is batch mode second is interactive mode third is fast completion and the fourth one certified so most of the time we use the either batch mode or interactive mode depending on the requirement so batch mode actually it processes the record in the batch or in the bulk mode bulk type let's say uh, this session is more important and uh, we are going to focus on the about the various status code which are involved in the address doctor here uh, we will see two versions of the address doctor address doctor 4 and the address doctor 5 in the each version of the address doctor they have their own status code and it's a corresponding meaning so in those doctor, uh, so we are going to see the various status code and its description in the address doctor 4 v means it's a verified given data is correct c means it's corrected if address doctor correct the data the status code is c then we have the p3 p2 p1 so if the data is not correct uh, if data cannot be corrected but very like to be delivered means uh, the given input data is cannot be corrected by address doctor but it is it that on that del address the mail can be delivered so like some of the addresses are not updated in the system but because of the experience post office man or post officer is able to find out such address and he can deliver the uh, uh, the mail to that corresponding given address so such address status is marked with the p3 again p2 is cannot be corrected the data is cannot be corrected but still there are some chances to deliver the address p1 it is again the cannot be corrected but unlikely means sometime it means le very less probability to deliver the mail then we have the n1 n2 n3 and n4 so so if if the validation so we know that there are some phases like the we have the transliteration pass analyze verify the format and enrich out of that analyze verify and correct that is nothing but the validation so some in during some phase or that validation is not happening because of some reason the status code will be written as either of n1 n2 n3 and there are some sub sub reasons like the for the n4 uh, after passing operation it is cannot be valid n3 is like no validation problem because of country code a country could not be unlock for n2 it's a validation error it is required for means reference data is not available in that case and then n1 is uh, no validation performed because the country was not recognized so these are the uh, validation related status code then we have q o q1 q2 q3 so if you are go if you are use the uh, fast completion the status like suggested address available complete address so if you are using the fast completion so these are the address status let's see a uh, little uh, little detail about the various status in the address doctor version 5 so if you see in the address doctor 4 for the verify address only we have v as the status code but in the address doctor we have the 4 v4 uh, status like v1 v2 v3 and v4 so v4 is nothing verified input data is correct absolutely correct what are the given data is absolutely correct normally um, we could not come across the v v4 situation means i i have personally tried so many records but we always get uh, means even it is correct very absolute it gives me v3 v2 or v3 but those are also more appropriate it means we can uh, confirm that the uh, what are the address given there we can deliver the mail so such kind of addresses like uh, these are the <coughs> various status for the verified 
On the same line, we have the C1, C2, C3 for the corrected address. Means address doctor itself correct the given address in order to make it appropriate. Then we have I1, I2, I3, I4. This data could not be corrected in the address doctor V4. We don't have that V1, V2. Instead, we have the N1, N2, which is validation error, validation related error. Uh, here the data could not be corrected completely. Um, if if somehow the data is not proper and it is cannot be corrected by address doctor, we have the address doctor which will start with the I. I means incorrect. It as like the address doctor four, we have a uh, N1 also that is validation error. But here we have the N1, N2, N3, N4, and N5. In the address doctor four, we have till only N4, but in the address doctor five, we have till N5. So they have the validation error and the corresponding sub sub. Uh, cause for that fast completion again it is similar to the disruptor 5 we have q1 q2 q3 along with that we have the parsing related errors or parsing related status code that that is having the s1 s2 s3 s4 s4 means pass perfectly s3 means pass with multiple results s2 means pass with errors elements change position means some of the elements are not properly uh, aligned and s1 means pass error input format mismatch so these are the status values and um, so far we have seen what is the address doctor and uh, oh, where it is compliant with uh, then we have seen the what are the process involved in the address doctor we have also covered the address doctor status code for the address doctor version 4 and address doctor version 5 if you have any questions or queries uh, you can mention below but before uh, ending this session i would like to show you uh, how can you configure the address doctor in the informatic mdm so in order to configure the address doctor you have to go to the installation directory in my local i have the installation directory in mdm hub cleans and the resources there you will find the cmx cleans dot properties file open that uh, properties file and whenever you get the address doctor installable you will get the three files that you need to configure the first file is nothing but the set config file and the second is parameters file and third is default correction type file so those files you have to mention the path of file you have to mention in this file so once you uh, properly mention the configuration details in the cmx cleans dot properties file then you are uh, you can able to see the address doctor function in the cleans function of the informatica mdm hub so you can use that cleans function in your mapping and in such a way that um, we can configure the address doctor in the cmx server cleans cmx uh, cmx cleans dot properties file and it can be used as a clean function i hope this session is helpful for you if you have any question about the address doctor you can mention in the video below thanks for watching the video